So this is the start of me trying to take the barrel off an Ardessa Pennsylvania percussion 45 caliber long rifle. I've seen a video and there are three pins that hold the barrel on. You just see them sort of there. One, two, three. So never done this before. My plan is to uh, punch these out with a puncher and see what happens. I'm hoping nothing will break or I will ruin it because I absolutely love this gun. And um, yeah, let's see how we get on. So I'm using a 2.5 millimeter punch. Seems about right. I have another one. I think it's a bit too big, a bit nervous of it jamming in the, the hole. So I'm going to have to start with this two and just hope that, yeah, that looks about right. So I've got a rubber mallet and give it a light tap and see what happens. As you can feel some sort of gunk in there, some wax or so I'm going to give it a little tap. Something's happening. Just that, that was pretty light. I can already feel it coming through. So that's a pretty good sign, I think. Keep continuing. Doing it very gently. So look again. Yeah, look. Wow. Don't know what that is. Gotta keep that. <laughs> Might need that. Keep going. see a yeah definitely definitely a metal pin there so I'm definitely doing the right thing let's carry on yay look at that pin out so that's the middle one so I'll put that aside in the middle I think this is going to work yeah, so that's just knocked out of there. Don't know what I'm going to fill that with, but I'll figure that out. All right, I can move on to the the next one. Okay, I'm going for the next one. Drop it on the floor. I'm feeling this little bit that comes out of the bottom is used to block up that side and then you put a bit of something just a smaller amount on this side i'm not 100 percent sure okay come to the next one the reason i'm doing this taking the barrels off is because the ramrod is getting stuck in here and i'm hoping when i take the barrel off i can actually see what 
it's causing it to be stuck when it because I'm pushing the ramrod in and I can't get it in or out sometimes if I twist it I can sort of free it so I'm hoping once I take the barrel off I can see if it's been caught caught on something I'm gonna have to steady this a bit more it's moving I might have to put this in a vise come back to this Okay, things are a bit steady now. So what can happen now? So I'm little part. It's coming out. the third one come out pretty easily not much tapping so next stage is to see how the barrel goes right, let's do the top half Out. Now, now, the next bit is to tap out the whole barrel. I've seen someone do this on YouTube and he gives it a little whack on the end. Let's have a go. Okay, that's what I've seen them do. It goes like that. And then Pushes it out. If it does. I've got to be very careful apparently. Something's fallen. Out. Twist it down. It's definitely falling out of there. I might be able to see what caused that ring fell out. Something fell out. This fell out. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look at that. This seems to push forward, I think. It's got a ring. There's the pin hook. Just another note that all the pins are exactly the same size. The sort of filler material might be slightly different. But you can adjust that when you put them back in. So here we are now. I've got the um, spring retention, the ramrod retention spring, which is I think that's what it probably is called. So what happens is <clears throat> when I want to clean the gun and take the lock off, I'd remove these two bolts that hold it on but this one actually holds on the, the spring so of course when you undo that to take the bolt out it'll fall out so the thing would be to just slightly undo it but never take it fully out unless you want to keep on removing the barrel to put the spring back in so I'm going to lightly um, put that in and then you can see when the ramrod comes in it pushes that and that would be kept down by the barrel and that will sort of hold it in place with this sort of tension. So 
that's the um pretty sure that's the right way round for that and i can put the whole thing back together <laughs> right now to put the uh barrel back i've slightly oiled very lightly and wipe most of it off underneath the <clears throat> barrel. I mean I'm never going to shoot this out in the rain or I don't hunt so it's always going to be in a dry environment so with a little bit of oil to stop it potentially rusting although it's going to be not something I take out very often <laughs> hopefully. So I think it just drops in like that. Pretty sure that's what it does. Clips in at the bottom. Just squeeze it in. I just rub a mallet that. <clears throat> Put the hip on the end. Seems to be located all right. bit is to see yeah I can actually see through the holes to locate the tenon pins now had them that way around which is the way they went in lightly knock those in So I've ordered some plasticine, a sort of modelling plasticine that apparently never dries out, a dark brown plasticine. So I'm going to use that to fill the holes in because I think that would be the best solution. Let's locate the final one. I'm not that in flush. Slightly down. Right, now to put in the last tenon pin. Lightly tap it in. the pin punch to locate that in, keeping that nice and flush. And now to replace the tang screw. Now the final part, just testing that the Ram rod go and fit and get caught in this retention spring. Yep, so that's held nice and firmly now. So it's all ready to shoot. Thank you for watching.